Why is it so hard for people to do what needs to be done? Ever wondered why are you procrastinating? In this video, you will lastly see the answers to why it's so, what to do about it, and invitation to participate in a challenge to stop procrastination. You wake up with lots of energy, planning to conquer your life or business tasks, and then something happens, and you don't notice where your time goes. A little bit of social media here and there, half an hour of mediocre TV or Netflix, doing not ending household chores, or maybe for you it's over researching the task, trying to prepare execution endlessly, and then trying to be perfect at what you do. All these things are eating your time. You go to bed trying to calm yourself. That's okay, I will have it tomorrow. Tomorrow I will finally do it. And then the story repeats day after day, week after week, month after month. Procrastination is like a mysterious hydra creature. Each head of it is a new way not to let you do what matters. You cut one head, cut it, then the other grows. They distract you from doing anything but the task at hand that moves your life forward. Of course, time does not wait. Now, I want you to find yourself on this chart. These small circles are the months of your life. Even if you live an above average lifespan of 90 or even 100 years old, you still have just around 1080 or 1200 months. Take a second, if you wish, pause this video and find yourself approximately where you are. Isn't this a powerful, sobering exercise? Just in one short month, everyone will have one circle less. And now, what about your dreams? What about achieving your goals? Learning this language? Or opening a business? Learning what you need to learn? Getting a new job? Getting a promotion? Or starting that side hustle? Or maybe for you, it's writing that book working out, meditating, or lastly getting up early in the morning. I'm sure you are smart without me to know what will happen in your life when you conquer procrastination, like a horse rider masterfully manages his horse, even if it is a wild horse. And what is important about being able to conquer it? You finally start doing what's essential for you and make progress. But you know what? This isn't only about what you do, but also about how good you feel. You start feeling more in control of your life, less anxiety, a feeling of fulfillment, a peace of mind when you lay down on a pillow at night knowing you did it today and that you will do it again tomorrow. Once you feel better, you have more energy for things to do. Even everything you did in the beginning was that first step. And then one more. And then you look back and see how much you have accomplished. Before discovering how to do all this in just a minute, you need to know that there are a lot of myths about procrastination. For example, that you don't manage your time well, that you are lazy, undisciplined, unmotivated, or you need more willpower. All these misconceptions only will make you feel guilty and procrastinate even more. In reality, it's not your fault that it is happening. It's simply thanks to our human nature that wants us to stay comfortable, to remain in the same place where we are to get more sameness, good or bad. Even the greatest minds in the world such as Leonardo da Vinci or Vincent van Gogh were procrastinating on their paintings, though they are now celebrated. That's why van Gogh famously said, if you hear a voice within yourself saying you cannot paint, that by all means paint and that voice will be silent. Based on the latest scientific research, 95% of time people procrastinate to avoid certain emotions and feelings like fears, doubts, uncertainties. It's our coping strategy as human beings to deal with emotions we aren't ready for or we don't know how to deal with them. Because the truth is, you don't want to feel uncomfortable doing something. You want to feel good. As I said, it's not your fault you are procrastinating. It happens to all of us. Now, 
You know the hidden cause of procrastination. You know what you are losing every time. And you know what you can gain. All this knowledge makes you responsible for fixing the issue. The only question is how to conquer procrastination. And that is the same question I ask myself many times during my lifetime. Because there are already so many books, YouTube videos and courses about this topic. And yet you are still watching this video. Otherwise all that information would already help you. Hi, I am Alex and I was in your shoes before. I was struggling and burning months and years of my life on distractions, wasting hours of my life on bad habits and things that don't matter, and I never thought about myself as dumb or lazy or not hardworking. I even became an award-winning computer scientist in my early 20s. Yet the reality of life showed me the consequences of my procrastinations. That led me to work on jobs I didn't like struggling with projects and underachieving in general. And I was definitely through lots of pain and it could continue that way forward if I didn't decide to turn the tables on. The first insight was years ago when in search of answers to my questions an intelligent man I met said to me, if you don't know exactly what to work on in the next 15 minutes, you don't have enough clarity on your life, business or goals. You should be so clear about goals in every aspect of your life that what you should do in the next 15 minutes is obvious to you. That made me to realize a lot of things I was doing wrong before. And then I asked myself even more important question. How can I not only be clear about what to do, but do it constantly despite procrastination? Because let's face the truth. It's hard to fight that hydra all the time. I searched for a better way, studied a lot of literature, worked with mentors, and what I discovered and understood took me years of experimentation and learning. Here is how what I realized works. Instead of fighting with human nature, instead of fighting with procrastination, that hydra, I got more intelligent about it, and you can too. I discovered how to make friends with my human nature and leverage it for good. Instead of fighting with the darkness in the room, I found a switch and turned on the light. As I said before, we are dealing with negative emotions we are avoiding. Let's take for example fear of doing something. Fear is a low emotional state. If you look at a chart, you will see that it is way down the emotional pyramid, neighboring with apathy, grief and guilt. No wonder it's easy to procrastinate in such a state. It's hard to do something you feel wrong about or bad. But these states have nothing to do with you. You can easily switch these states into higher emotional states such as courage, willingness or desire or even anger. In such states it's much more easier to do what you need. You go into the higher emotional states and boom, you are already not procrastinating. You can release any importance and turn everything you do into a game. Things become natural and easy without force. Like a child playing with a constructor creating whatever he wants, you start playing with your tasks and you progress. I call this method Logics A. The insights I just shared with you put me on a transformational journey and transform me from a computer scientist to a human scientist. First for myself and then for others. Otherwise, how can I help others with procrastination if I haven't done it for myself? I don't want you to go through years of my research and struggle. That's why I was developing and researching how to help other creative people and entrepreneurs with procrastination without going through the pains of getting up at 5 am and training your willpower to be a Navy SEAL-like, to do tasks finally. And what I came up with is not a book, not a simple how-to video, and it's not a regular course. Because in this case, I understand that people would procrastinate even to start reading that book or going through that course. And I don't think you need one more ebook 
collecting dust on your device. That's why I decided to do something different, interesting, engaging, and potentially transformational for a person who will go through the experience from start to finish. An experience that I call Conquer Procrastination Adventure. It's a 14 days digital experience. It is a combination of a story, a game, small exercises and actions you will do. It is short video instructions and dynamic emails and SMS guidance. It's an adventure and challenge that will call you on the mission to conquer your procrastination and get visible results in your life, how you feel about yourself and your satisfaction with your work. It doesn't contain a ton of information just for consumption. Instead, I focus on creating a transformational experience you can go through while living your regular life. All you need to do is open emails, do small exercises and go through your adventure with me. I designed the challenge in such a way that it will help you to be accountable and go from start to finish. Now, the exciting thing is about price for ticket for this journey. I could charge thousands of dollars for this. Instead, what you need to do is only make a pledge of $44. And after you go through the challenge, at the end of it, you will have two buttons to click. If you click the first button, you will receive your pledge back. And if you click the other button, your pledge will go as a tip to my organization to continue helping other people to grow. So, you got it right. You can go through this challenge completely for free if you want to. You can also press the red button and quit the challenge anytime during your 14 days journey. But in this case, you will pledge will not be refunded and it will go to my favorite charity. That's why, please don't join the adventure if you are not severe or ready to go to the end and make difference in your life. So again, the rules are simple. Finish the challenge and you can get your pledge back or leave it as a tip. Or you can quit challenge and pledge will go to charity. Do you know what keeps me late at night? Knowing that there are intelligent, talented people capable of doing much more in their lives, yet not realizing this because handicapped by procrastination. And while not many people deeply understand it, and even less care to flip things around, two people care, me and you. I know this because you realize there is much more for you that you can do, and procrastination should not be an obstacle for you. I know this because otherwise you would not watch this video so far. Now is the time for your choice. You are smart enough to know that procrastination is a gap between your future and current self. You are savvy enough to know the only thing that matters is change and growth, which is possible for you as it was for me and others. And you're wise enough to recognize that now is the best time to stop wasting your time, read life and get outcomes you want. So the only question is, are you intelligent enough to start your Conquer Procrastination Adventure? And to start it, just click the link in the description to this video. I'll see you inside.